Hello, EX500.com. What I'm about to show you is how I quickly and cheaply installed a GPS system on my Ninja here. Uh, first step I took was to wire up the power supply for the GPS in an event that I needed more than what its internal battery could su uh, supply me with. Simple was running a cigarette lighter adapter to the battery, positive, negative. Ran that wire with some nice little uh, sticky tape wire clip holders under the tank here. Under here, I exposed the uh, fuse connection here uh, for easy access, maintenance, if I ever need to depower the uh, plug up front. Uh, since there is no on-off switch, this is my on-off switch. Um, ran that along, not the fairing itself, but the bracketing that goes um, behind it and then let me see if I can get my little flashlight here uh, zip tied the cigarette lighter to the bracketing here uh, connected the power supply cigarette adapter from the GPS into that ran a bung of wires up along here hit it behind the console and have my mount right here. Uh, it is drilled directly into the windscreen. The windscreen is fully blocked out. I uh, kind of cheaped out. Have my mounting holes here. Metal screws with uh, nice fancy black caps to somewhat hide it. The mount itself is mounted uh, when not in use, nicely out of the way, it rotates. When I do want to install the GPS unit, flip this down around. Well, actually this way. Tighten my little connector here. Still even in the down position, it doesn't block things too much. And then drop in the GPS unit. Like so. Now, while on the bike, the GPS does block most of the speedometer and most of the tachometer. I can, however, see the last few thousand RPMs on the tach, and the speedometer is a bit redundant when your GPS has a built-in speedometer or speed readout on it as well, which is more accurate than the bike speedometer. Right in during the daytime, the darkened windscreen helps quite a bit shield against the glare. In some situations, obviously, if the sun's behind you, the screen usually does get washed out. At nighttime, it is fantastic. Legibility is excellent at, um, since it auto dims. The voice that the GPS reads out can be heard and um, speeds up to about 30 miles an hour. Um, beyond that, it's uh, inaudible over the wind noise. I do have a bit of a noisy helmet, possibly uh, one that doesn't have so much wind buffeting, I could hear better. Um, overall, I'm pretty happy with this setup. Um, it works quite well. I've had it for about a month and the only issue I've run into so far is the vibrations and the um, dirt and dust have gotten into the uh, USB power point port for the GPS unit and just need the occasional blast out with some compressed air and um, actually tightening squeezing the connectors in a little bit better to uh, make better power connection. The GPS unit itself is a Mio um, very slim and slender it's a wide screen um, it fits quite well the bracket the mounting base for the unit is small, lightweight, and I do like the fact that it quickly gets out of the way and it doesn't block the gauges at all. Um, GPS itself is not a very good one, unfortunately. I can't recommend Mio as a GPS. Uh, Direction-wise, it's pretty good. After purchase support is terrible. You can't buy new maps for these things unless you have the most recent unit, which you shouldn't need new maps for anyways. So. Um, 
the setup works good. The GPS, not so much. Um, I like it. Makes getting around places I haven't been before a lot easier. Um, and it's ideal for running around in city speeds because you can still hear the thing too if you even if you can't see it because it's washed out. Um, install was easy. Just wire it up, hide the wires. Um, an extra windscreen was nice so I can revert this back to stock if I want to get rid of it. I like it. And that's it. Enjoy. Hope you learned something. Um, I'm going to go ride. Bye.